Angela Deem has terrorized viewers since she first appeared on 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Days in 2018. We thought her behavior back then was wild, but it's tame compared to the things that have happened in recent years. In one of the most shocking moments in reality TV history, she wore a barely there dress to a tell-all and flashed her husband Michael's family because she didn't like what they had to say. It was, well, it was something. But somehow, Sharp Entertainment continually keeps Deem on their payroll, and it's starting to feel like something horrible will need to happen for the company to stop enabling that level of behavior. Angela is known on the show for flying off the handle when something doesn't go her way and those around her feel the wrath. It's a miracle anyone still wants to film with her. You've probably heard by now that Michael went missing last week, mere months after he finally made it to the U.S., leading to countless questions about what happened between his arrival to the moments before he went missing. According to reports, he was found safe and well but asked the police not to disclose his location to Deem, signaling no resolution for them in the cards. Sometimes couples have arguments, but on camera, Angela has taken things a step too far, one too many times, like when she wanted to hack into Michael's phone. People are entitled to privacy, whether in a relationship or not, and that was a step too far for many. In their early years on the show, she thought her then-husband-to-be was trying to manipulate her into making up with him with a beautiful cake. Instead of eating the cake or passing it on to someone else, if she didn't want it, she thought it was best to hurl it at him. It was a startling moment that many fans will never forget. In terms of 90 Day Fiancé villainy, Angela is up there with Big Ed Brown, and the two have been in a constant race to the finish line to declare which of them is the worst. In more recent memory, her behavior hit worrying levels when she bashed Liz Woods during a controversial scene on The Last Resort late last year. Instead of having a conversation with Liz about how she felt, Angela got up in her face in a threatening manner. If it was uncomfortable for viewers, could you imagine how awkward it was for Liz? And Big Ed didn't even defend her. Thankfully, it sounds like she has cut him loose because she has a hot new man. People want messy TV. There's no question about that, but Angela hasn't fit that bill for many years now because her behavior is so out of pocket that fans have been calling for her removal from the franchise for years. Knowing that we'll have to sit through season 8 of Happily Ever After with her likely degrading and screaming at Michael might be the last straw. We knew there would be drama when Michael finally made it to the US, but it seemed like the couple could have had a few good months before things got bad enough for him to leave his belongings in her home and disappear without a trace. With Angela, there's a deeply rooted problem at Sharp Entertainment if they think that showing off this kind of behavior is the best way to promote their shows. After the initial shock factor of her actions wears off, we're always left thinking that every episode would be better without her hurling insults and threats at people. If this truly is the end of Angela and Michael, the best form of justice we can get is for Michael to move over to 90 Day The Single Life to find love and show his personality off to the audience without Deem causing problems for him. What do you think is in store for Angela and Michael? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on the 90 Day Fiancé franchise and even more reality TV news.